Let's begin the session by learning a little more about pronouns. However, before we do that, let's revisit what we studied last year. Let's read the sentences on the screen aloud. Sandy has lost the kite that belonged to Sandy. Therefore, Sandy is going to the market. Sandy is going to buy another kite. Repeating the noun Sandy in all the sentences sounds awkward. Does it not? Well, once we have established the boys, that is, Sandy's identity, instead of repeating it again, we can replace the noun Sandy with the pronoun. Hence we can see, Sandy has lost the kite that belonged to him. Therefore, he is going to the market. He is going to buy another kite. Pronouns replace nouns to avoid repetition. Pronouns can stand for first, second or third person. The first person is the person speaking. In the first person, we have pronouns such as I, me, mine, used for singular nouns. And we, us and ours, used for plural nouns. For example, take the sentences I am going. Please give me my umbrella. No, that is not mine. Here, we see the use of the pronouns I, me, and mine for singular nouns. In this sentences, we had a very good time Robert showed us around the house and told us it was ours. The pronouns we, us and ours are used for plural nouns. The second person is the person spoken to. In the second person, we have pronouns such as you and yours which can be used in place of both singular as well as plural pronouns. For example, take the sentences You are welcome to stay in the hotel. That room is yours. Here, the pronouns you and yours are used for singular nouns. In these sentences, how many of you are there in this section? This classroom is yours. The pronouns you and yours are used for plural nouns. The third person is the person spoken of. In the third person, we have pronouns such as he, she, it, his, hers, her, him, used for singular nouns. They, theirs, its, and them, used for plural nouns. For example, take the sentences, That is Rahul. He owns a luxury yacht. That boat belongs to him. See those people on the deck. They are guests of his. We are going to interview them. Here the pronouns they, his and them 
are used for third person pronouns. Here, you can see all the examples at a glance. Drag and drop the appropriate pronouns to fill in the blanks. Congratulations!